All right, it's time for Pass the Mic. This is where we bring in local comedians to dive into the craziest headlines. Today, we pass the mic to friend of the show, comedian Bria Badeau. An ancient skeleton of a Gorgosaurus went up for auction for the first time and sold for just over $6 million. Now, whoever bought it, which is currently unknown, now has the unusual opportunity to name it. What would you want to name a dinosaur? Not to sound like a narcissist, I would just name it after myself, a Briosaurus. I would love a dinosaur that just didn't even have Saurus on it, just didn't even sound like all the other names. Just name them like Harris or Johnson or something like that. Just so rolling. You, yeah, just ro just rolling. <laughs> and you have ki hey, kids will study them and be like, here's a Stegosaurus or a Brontosaurus and Roland. Just out there. <laughs> Matter of fact, if he had one name, they would assume it was just the same dinosaur the whole time, just in all of these photos. Like Beyonce. Yeah, there you go. No, yeah. I like Roland. I actually like your first I like Roland. I, I like Roland. I think Roland is like, he would be a very endearing dinosaur, looking out for his community, you know. He's not the father, he's not the stepfather, he's the father that stepped up. Like, I like Roland. Next, a wild story from the Bay Area in California where a burglar returned to the scene of his crime after he stole cash, but left his keys at a donut chain's corporate office. He left, will quickly return 10 minutes later, and actually didn't get caught. Police are still looking for him. How does a person break in twice to the same place and still not get caught? I, I read that article, and apparently he went to a corporate, he went to the corporate office of the donut place mm -hmm. to steal money. And that just sounds like some Lamar Whitehead scamming to me. <laughs> It's one of those crimes that I feel like the police should just keep to themselves. You know what I mean? <laughs> like this is just We like, got him on camera. We don't know where he is. Let's just agree that he got us on this one. We don't need to <laughs> let this one out to the public. We don't we don't need the public to know that we still haven't caught this person that broken in twice. Just keep it low. I mean, he might come back a third time. Our next story, a North Carolina woman apparently seeking revenge on her ex-boyfriend tried to set fire to a house owned by somebody else. The owner of the house came out with a gun and she ran away. Bria, what do you make of this story? I think that wasn't really her boyfriend. I think that was a tender date gone wrong because, I mean, if I'm going to burn down somebody's house, it's going to be the right somebody. You know that's what, that's a think. very good point. That is a very good point because if they actually had a solid relationship, she wouldn't have made that kind of mistake. Also, I would add, if they had any length of relationship, she probably would have had some things in there that she wouldn't want to be lost in the fire as well. So, yeah, yeah. that was not that woman's boyfriend. That She does not know that man. I am so sorry to this man. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that you've heard or done to an ex or an ex has done to you? I try not to be that crazy. I will say, though, I did date somebody and then we broke up and I was being nosy. So I would go on Venmo and uh, look at their Venmo activities and see what they were doing to see if they were dating somebody else. Now, wait a minute. The first thing I did on my Venmo was set it to private because <laughs> I don't understand why it's everybody's business who I'm paying and who I'm getting paid by. Who are these people that have their Venmo on public? Is yours on a public? A lot of people. Mine is not on public. Mine is definitely a friends only, but it's like that because I look at other people's Venmo. I will have you know that it was immediately after this interview that our producer Adam admitted to me for the first time publicly that he has his Venmo on public and I've never been more ashamed. Ross, is your Venmo public or private? He's got private. Aaliyah, public or private? Private. Private! Come on! Come on, we're not crazy here. By the way, if you want to hear more from Bria, she'll be at the Baltimore Comedy Festival on August 31st.